On a unit disk, what is the expected distance from a uniformly random point to its center? Briefly, and maybe letting our intuition take over, it might seem that the answer is 1 over 2, given that the distance is between 0 and 1, and the point is uniformly distributed. If that were the case, your intuition is wrong. To prove why, I propose two solutions, one using trustworthy integrals, and the second one that employs a geometrical transformation. Start with a sketch of the disk D, observing that the density of the point over it is the identity function, hence 1 divided by pi over the entire area. Using the most elementary definition of the expectation, we have that the value that we are looking for is equal to the double integral over the disk D of the distance between the point and the center times the probability density function of the point dA. In this formula, dA represents the differential, showing us which value is infinitesimally changed when integrating. This is obviously a very general formula that has to be adapted to our momentary needs. At a minimum, we must be able to describe the space D. There are multiple ways to represent the point X on the unit disk, one of the most common being Cartesian coordinates, X and Y. So, we have our definition for D with respect to X and Y. Plug this into the basic formula, and we see that we have a less than pretty integral. This is solvable, but it requires integrating by parts, remembering how to integrate 1 divided by the square root of x squared plus c, and doing so correctly under pressure. It might be a tall order. Is there another way to describe d? Can polar coordinates be our savior in this case? Even though we speak of the same space, d, we denote it now by d star, since it is parametrized with polar coordinates. To do this, we need a change of variable, which introduces the determinant of the Jacobian in the formula, besides the change of integral limits. Let's write down the Jacobian matrix and compute its determinant. With some simple trigonometry, we find that the determinant of the Jacobian is equal to r. We put this final piece of the puzzle in place and compute a now much easier integral. The result is 2 divided by 3 and, just as warned, not equal to a half. As promised, the above solution is not the only way to solve this problem. Another one employs a one-to-one -one transformation of the area of the disk in the area of a triangle as such. Peel the disk into thin circles and lay them out flat, parallel one to another. The side of the triangle opposite the center measures the length of the circle, 2 pi, and is situated at distance 1, the radius of the disk, from the center. All the points on one given circle have the same x-coordinate in the newly formed triangle. The construction above gives us the freedom to make the triangle isocells and symmetrical to the x-axis. We now have an equivalent problem. For a uniformly random point inside the triangle AOB, what is the expected value of its x-coordinate? We find the coordinates of the center of mass to be 2 divided by 3 and 0, so this means that the expected x-coordinate is 2 thirds, which further solidifies the previous result. And the last method to find the expected distance is to simulate points on the disk using the given distribution. The code that I propose uses a more particular approach, simulating uniformly random points inside the square and then cutting them to the inside of the disk. As an exercise, you can attempt to prove that this approach yields uniformly random points inside the disk. An alternative way to do this is to use polar coordinates, but be careful when choosing the distribution of the radius. It might not be what you expected. Thank you to the Patreons supporting this video, and thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to get notifications when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem in the box beneath the video or on a dedicated web page. For more info and other materials, please check the description box. See you next time!